Today is July the 15th, 2010. I'm going to document for you here a Dynaco ST70 stereo amplifier running a pair of uh, Svitsalana tubes on each side. Output. Good old USA uh, Sylvania 7199s and a GE rectifier. The board is a new board. It's not the old Dynaco board, but it's the same design. It uses the same circuitry. The 7199s. Driving both channels at once. Here's our termination, our 600 ohm termination. Coming from a Tektronics SG505 low distortion analyzer. We're watching the output, the distortion on an AA501 distortion analyzer. And here is the output voltage. That's in millivolts right now because we've got it turned down all the way. We're going to be watching it on an old Tektronix 45 scope, and there will be our frequency once we crank it up. The load is a pair of 200 watt 8 ohm resistors, but we can switch with the output between the channels. We're not switching the, the load, but we're just switching the monitoring. Our input voltage is 120, and here is our 120 again. Uh, the current at idle is 1.48 amps, 1.5 amps, 160 watts idling, 180 volt amps, with a power factor of 0.89. We'll see what it adds up to. I'm going to start out at 30 hertz. Let's pop in here when I get it up there enough to drive it. The reason I'm going to start out at 30 is because this amplifier doesn't perform very well at 20. It performs quite well at 30, so we'll start at 30, go down to 20, and then we'll go to 2 kilohertz and 20 kilohertz. So there's our 30 hertz. There's what it looks like on a scope. There's its distortion, 0.5, at just less than 6 volts. Now, as we start cranking it up, we're going to watch this. We're going to crank it all the way up till we see something happen at the peaks of the sine wave. And there it goes. That's getting pretty bad. You can see the anomalies occurring right up here. Our distortion is a little over 2%, so we're going to crank that down. We're going to measure it at 1%. We're going to get it. There we go. 0.6. We may not be able to get it exactly at 1, but we'll get as close as we reasonably can. It's jumping around a little bit with just a little bit of drive. Well, we'll have to stop right there. 0.6% at about 16 volts. There's what our sine wave looks like. Looks pretty good. I don't see a problem with that. If it's steady, a little over half percent at 16 volts. Well, 16 volts at 30 hertz is 16 squared divided by 8, which is 32 watts. But that's pretty good at 30 hertz. That was the left channel. I'm going to flip it to the right channel. And there's this distortion on the right channel. Just a little bit more power, just a little bit more distortion. Still looks really good. Barely a little bit of an anomaly there. There's its frequency, 30. 30 to 31, very slightly. Now, here's the problem that I've found with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn down the gain quite a bit here. Then we'll go down to 20 hertz. Let's go to 25. Okay, there's, there's 25. And let's run it back up. And still doing pretty good. Whoop, there we go. We just went over the edge there. 1.72, one and a half. See the voltage over there too. Watch the voltage and the distortion. We get down to there we go. Below one percent at 14.66. You can do the math yourself. 14.66 squared divided by eight. That's its power. That's at 25. Still doing pretty good. It really is. Let's run it back down a little bit. Now let's go to. 20. There's 20. And here it starts to fall apart pretty quick, unfortunately. We crank this up. I don't know, it's actually doing better. 
Watching the distortion, I'm trying to watch several things at once. Get it below 1% or thereabouts. We can call that 1%. Well, that's not too bad. Seven and a half, uh, ten and a half volts. Ten and a half squared divided by eight. That's not a lot of power, but that's what it does at 20. And there is what it looks like. This That's the right channel. I'm going to flip to the left channel. A little bit better. Well, I thought I remembered it performing worse than this, but I guess it's actually doing okay. This is both channels driven at the same time. 20 hertz. Point seven percent or so at a little better than 10 volts. So that's not a lot of power. Eight squared divided by eight would be eight watts. So if it was eight volts, it'd be eight watts. So 10, going to be a little bit more than that. 10 or, 10 or so watts. But it isn't 30 watts anymore. Now we're going to go to two kilohertz. And it'll perform really well up here. Let's crank that back down a little closer to two just for the fun of it. That's close enough. 1999. 2000. Okay, let's run it back up to clipping. There it's starting to clip. Watch our distortion. There it is. Get it under 1%. It's real touchy. It wants to jump from 0.6 up to, there you go, 16.2. 16.2 squared divided by 8. That's its power out. That's its distortion out. That's what it looks like. Looks nice and clean. And there's its frequency. That's the left channel. There's the right channel. 0.8 at about the same voltage. Not doing bad. Now let's go to 20 kilohertz. We go 2081. We'll touch it up a little bit. There we go. That's really close. 2030. We're not going to fret over that too much. We we'll use up all of our time. There we go. Nice clean sine wave. Nice sharp tips. 0.6 percent. 15.64. Let's crank it up to about 1 percent distortion. There we go. 15.94, call it 16 volts at 1%. That's the right channel. I'm going to go to the left channel. About the same. And we got, sine wave doesn't look real good. 1%, you, you can start seeing distortion in the sine wave. This is, this is not very pretty up there. Got some wrinkles right here, it looks like, too. Got a little, a little wrinkle right there. It's not real pretty anymore. That's at 20,029 hertz. 1%. Not bad at this power level with both channels running wide open. Our voltage is still close enough to 120. Our current is 2.3 amps. That's 248 watts. 275 volt amps. The power factor of 0.89 our voltage on an analog meter and there it is that's the old stereo the Dynaco Stereo 70 it's still working after all these years I love it just wanted to document what it is on some nice equipment and uh, you can make your own judgment call as do the math if you want on the voltage take the voltage and square it divide it by eight in each example and uh, you'll know how much power it puts out Hope you enjoy.